The city is looking at Kuhio Avenue in Waikiki as the next location to introduce bus only lanes. Officials say it'll mean a quicker commute for bus riders, but some are questioning the proposal. Max Rodriguez reports. Kuhio Avenue, one of the three main streets in Waikiki, could see some changes as soon as next year. Honolulu Complete Street says after the success of the bus only lanes on King Street, the right lanes on Kuhio Avenue could be designated for buses. The right lanes are proposed to be used for city buses um, as well as for private trolleys and private coach buses. Um, and then, of course, all of our bus only lanes allow um, right turning vehicles to come in. Complete Street says bus travel times improved by 20 to 30 percent on King Street with bus only lanes. But really, our hope in the long term is to encourage people to actually get out of their cars and switch to some other modes, such as transit, such as biking if we're able to provide more attractive, more convenient, and safer facilities for them. The Waikiki Complete Streets Administrator says this is a simple and inexpensive project, but not everyone is in favor of it. Crazy. They should not do that. No, I'm not for it. This Waikiki resident predicts even more backups on Kuhio Avenue, especially on days Kalakawa Avenue closes for special occasions. It's going to be tough because... If there's only one lane for people to drive and they close down Kalakaua every other weekend. The Waikiki Business Improvement District Executive Director sees pros and cons. She says workers riding the bus could benefit, but is concerned about impacts to other roads. Whatever is done on Kuhio, if it is seen in the best interests of Waikiki or the community as a whole, then to make sure that we're looking at, well, what is the effects on Alawai and what is the effects on Kalakaua and all the side streets in between. SPO says they plan on doing more community outreach with residents and workers in Waikiki, but the project is almost a go. We've uh, gotten our environmental clearances. We've gotten some exemptions from uh, relevant permits and we are going to continue consulting with different parties in the community to make sure we're designing the project to be as responsive as possible. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.